basically my schedule so next week is going to look a little like this smiley face emoji this is an example of how i'm like planning out my life so i do like that one now i think about it iris yeah actually it's growing on me what would her nickname be though riss rissol potato rissol um please come up with another list but this was very interesting i liked it and i'm disappointed to say the least <laughs> to get up and make myself some lunch hopefully i start to wake up soon i have to leave for training in three and a half hours so far away. i'm so comfy this candle smells beautiful mm. so rio hasn't moved look how pretty the rose is it's opened up over the course of this vlog. How beautiful. Stunning colors, or color. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I just chucked my dressing gown on because it's kind of chilly. So, I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I don't really know what I want. There's an avocado that's cut in the fridge, some eggs. So I wanna boil an egg and have avocado. So, usually, as I was saying before, I would have a class starting in like 40 minutes on a Tuesday, oh no, Tuesday. Wednesday. Anyway, I'm really hungry. I need to go make myself some food and also feed this one. I have a little bit of the sourdough and then we went with the rice and veggies and my mum also got back. Hi mum. Hi Nibi. <laughs> it was about the last one was free. Um, Friday morning. I boil this egg for eight minutes, so I'm gonna see if it's the consistency I feel like. Mm, it's a little bit too well done, but it's okay. Maybe because I left it sitting there for a bit. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of emails and just re responding to messages and stuff while I have my lunch. Mm -hmm. And then I'm talking to the vlog. <laughs> oh. And then in a few hours before I train, I'm going to have one of your healthy baked recipes mum mm. made for a snack because that's what made me go to sleep so late last That's what made me go to sleep so late last night because... Stop! <laughs> I had to go to sleep so late last night because she made all this good stuff, baked and recipes. Forced to eat it. She forced me to eat it, but it was so good. So <laughs> I think I'll have oh, the bean one or the muffins or a bit of both. The bean one's so good. Anyway. Also, an update on Rio. I've tried to let her outside and she lasted like 30 seconds because it started raining. It's gonna be winter vibes at training tonight. So I've just been contacting clients and doing emails for the last half an hour and planning out my schedule for the next few weeks. So I am gonna continue doing that for about another half an hour. And then I hopefully I can like do a little bit of editing featuring the coolest team. Okay. I have to color code my diary because it's so full with training uni clients. A lot of other things when I coach. And I have classes to run and classes to do. Oh. I also, it's uploading day for my YouTube. I haven't scheduled my video because 
I didn't get a free moment yesterday to do that. I usually schedule it the day before. If you've noticed, sometimes I've accidentally scheduled it for 4 a.m., not 4 p.m. But I try to upload 4 p.m. on Wednesdays. Okay. Paper like challenge. What color do we want to color create that? Do you know what? So, I went to office works to get a couple of uni and PT supplies the other day. And I got these. Look how cool. This was like a... Mm, I didn't count. This is my only item sink. That was like an essential. I actually, I do use highlighters every single day. So, it's an essential. But it was like a treat myself. Like I only got a couple of cheap binders. So, they're pastel highlighters. How pretty. Ah, oh, the yellow. I love it. Okay. I'm going to use the pastel orange for this. No. I'll use the pastel blue for the eight-week challenge. Listen to the sound. Ready? Yeah. I literally have to plan my week out my weeks, like months in advance. Like literally... I'm right now planning the days I have work, training, classes, lectures for the middle of April. So that when stuff comes up, I can check and be like, yep, I can fit you in here. I can fit you in here. I can fit this in here. Around what I already have. Okay. Mm, okay, let's just plan up until April 26. So I'm two months in advance. Tirizing. Obviously not everything because some things I only get find out not that far in advance. I had to also message my client, my agent saying I can't do this job anymore because they rescheduled the shoot day and I was like, I literally cannot not, I can't take that day off. I have too much happening that I have no time to reschedule. So I've almost finished my personal emails and then I have to do my uni emails. I'm currently saying to a like a fancy watch brand that wants to collab on Instagram saying like they've emailed me three times and I just haven't responded and I'm just saying like mm, I'm saying I'm not sure if you're the right fit as I only wear sports watches or running watches I don't want to be true to my followers I only wear my Garmin so I'm not going to be fake Probably not going to get time to edit because I'm leaving in like an hour and still got a lot of admin stuff to do. Oh my god, Troy is so efficient. You know that lecturer who, the tutor at uni, who said he would um do a Zoom with me to talk about future study career path? When I said I wasn't sure after being that senior student, he literally has organized a Zoom meeting for me, which he sent me an RSVP invite to for on Monday at 2.30. How nice. Okay. Diarizing it. Adding it to the diary. I'm doing a Zoom with a uni teacher about where I should go after this degree. Okay, so I've just finished diarizing a couple of weeks in advance and I'll show you what I kind of do. So, um, hmm, I haven't put everything into my schedule like this far in advance. I just noticed something really important. Me. Jokes, I'm not going to add that just yet. Okay, this is an example of how I'm like planning out my life. How to be organized tips and tricks. Okay, so this is a random week. Sorry about my broken, disgusting nails random week week four it's currently 24th of feb so this is like a month in advance so i've put in the times i have uni classes which are highlighted orange 
I've put in my training days, so one, two, three, four, five, six. The time I coach, which is 4 p.m. Let me get a pen so you don't see my gross nail. All right, let's do a little UTS knockoff smiggle pen to juxtapose and I'm at Sydney Uni. All right, I put in in red the time I have classes and in blue my shift times, um, which don't always stick to that. Like often I start at 5.30, but I finish at 11.30 instead of 9.30. So this is flexible, the shift times I have, depending on the clients I have that week. I wrote eight week challenge starts, which is something I have to run at work. And that's going to be an extra two nights a week of like a class I have to run. This is so far in advance though. So let me show you even further in advance. I have just the eight week challenge written in there. mid some break. So there's my classes in advance, the challenge, but no shift time in there. I'll show you this last two weeks. So this is this week. I try to keep it within my shifts when I have clients. Um, and then obviously it doesn't always stay within shifts. So there's a lot of shifting around. That was last week and then the week before. So I try my best to keep clients in shifts. But for example, like this Saturday, I have clients up until 4.30. And then last week I had these girls at 5.30 a.m. It got changed to there, then it got changed back. So yeah. And then I also add other things like when I coach, laser appointment, Sunday, rando stuff like that. When I was meant to be filming for that shoot that I had to block off that day, when I have a Zoom with um, a tutor that's helping me out, um, I always just keep in the days I'm training to make sure, you know, I have everything there. The times I train stay the same for our running days because it's with our squad. So that's 5.30 start, 5.30 start, 4.30 start, 8.30 start. And then my two gym days, I just fit in when I can. So usually straight after my first shift, straight after my first shift. And then like if we flipped it earlier in the year, I was trying to write things I was grateful for each day, other appointments, when I was seeing a friend, but that grateful for thing like brunch with a friend. Yeah, writing something I'm grateful for each day. I haven't been able to do every day because I just forget, I just don't have the time, so. Mm. Never ending emails, my gosh. I hate when you like get through all your list of emails and then people reply and then they build up again. Can you wait a few hours before you reply so I feel, feel accomplished for a while? Hey Callum, just texting to confirm our first session together tomorrow at 3 p.m. This will mainly be a consult where we go over your goals and do some strength and mobility assessment so I can then create a program specific, oh, not specific. Delete. 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 Damn it. I'm trying to say it so it types the text as you speak, but I said delete and it wrote delete, delete. <laughs> and now it's writing everything I say. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> tailored towards your goals and needs. Full stop. Looking forward to it. Smiley face emoji. Biceps emoji. Texted yes today's clients, not yesterday's yet. Text to yesterday. How did you pull up after yesterday's session? Sick. Another thing I keep in the back of my diary is like a list of the videos I've uploaded, a list of the podcasts I've uploaded this year. And also a list of my earnings weekly each year, it, each week, this year so far. So I have like a code of the different streams of income and then how much I get each week and where it's from. But I am about to upload a video.
another thing off the to-do list checked. Today's video is up. Look at me go. I have just spent the last two hours doing non-stop like admin work, emails, planning ahead, contacting collab deals, contacting uni lecturers, my manager, clients, calling leads. And it's been so productive. But I'm thinking like next week I'm going to be in classes during this time. So when is all of that going to happen? <laughs> Don't stress. <sighs> Breathe. It'll be fine. Hey, I'm so sorry, but unfortunately I can't accept collaborations on a gifting basis at this time as I have working and training full time. And it takes, up, takes me up to 20 hours to create a video. So I just don't have the capacity. Should I say capacity? Create. No, don't say capacity. Free. Free. Okay. okay. I don't have the time yeah. to create free schedule. content in my schedule. Hey, I'm so sorry, but unfortunately I can't accept collaboration on you. So I do charge a rate of dollars for a YouTube video. Is that too like much? <laughs> yeah, you cut this cauliflower off. Oh, I bought that myself. It was a half cauliflower. It was a quarter cauliflower that I bought. No, oh, I'm gonna bake it. Do you want? No, go for it. So I just had time to create free content in my schedule. So I do charge a rate. I am willing to negotiate this price, but I can't create this for content for free. Right, uh, what time are you getting off? 45 minutes. Okay, good. But thanks again for the opportunity and reaching. It takes me, it doesn't take me up to 20 hours. It takes me a minimum of 20 hours. It takes me... Yeah, say that. Yeah. Sent YOLO. That should be Great, so I can get a single ounce of editing done. Okay, now to actually get to my texts and like messages from friends. So in first year, when they were like, make sure you do this prescribed reading, I would spend, like prescribed reading take hours, so I did it. And then it would take me, like I was getting so overwhelmed. And then I started to realize that not one single person in my course was doing them. So I stopped and my marks, did not change at all. Like they test you on the content in the lectures. Lectures are summarized versions of prescribed readings anyways. Like, anyway, I'm sorry I missed your call. Um, also, let me know about Sunday. Billies. Yeah, you might need like one textbook like that you actually use, which I have had one that I've used. But other than that, I feel like just, I always go with in the mindset of like start uni. If it gets to week three and they're genuinely like referring to textbooks and giving you questions from textbooks then you get the textbook but most of the time you start and like you, this textbooks aren't even mentioned and then you're like fuck didn't even need that all right so it's going to that time where i need to have a snack and get ready for training <laughs> I wanted to edit. and then i also need to read my chinese new year's prediction my mom always like gives me magazines and newspapers when my horoscope or random shit like that is in it so what am i year am I? I think I'm a dead set year of the rat. <sighs> I'll google it. What Chinese New Year am I? Why didn't it come up with a list? Come on mate. What is the Chinese? No, what is my fucking Chinese zodiac? August 16th. I think I might be the dragon. No, oh, rabbit. I knew it. I'm the rabbit. That's why I thought rat, because like rabbit, rat, similar. 2021 brings the rabbit more courage. If you work hard, your efforts will be noticed. Don't take unnecessary risks and be mindful of your surroundings. This is a good year for you to focus on self-development and upskilling. Health. You may feel you're being pulled in different directions or even controlled. Seeking balance in nature and practicing self-care will help. Relationships. Romance looks good, but don't burn the candle at both ends. Balance is key. Balance. Wealth. Aim to improve your skills to help look after your future. Is that telling me I finish uni? Like, faster? Like, hurry up? Anyway. Interesting. Sometimes I read things and I'm like, oh, this is so me. But then I'm like, hang on. There's a billion people that, like, each zodiac, for example, it's like, everyone's like, oh my god, I'm such a Leo. And I'm like, and then you read all the horoscopes and you're like, why do I fit all of these? 
anyway. Anyway, is there a zodiac? I don't care. I didn't get, get on with my life today. Oh, I need to take my goodness me box Instagram stories and then make a sneak. Everyone. OMG. Okay. Okay, girl. Let me just review these names. Wait, I need to have my snack before I reply to my sissy. Before I reply to my girl. Finally, let me show you guys the freaking awesome like healthy baking my mom did yesterday, which hurt my freaking stomach and I couldn't sleep because it was so good. Okay, our fridge. Paint the flower of the vlog. Paint my really sore back. So many boxes of baking. All right, let me just stand really wide so I can fit low without having to move my camera. The lighting likes me today. Cool. Okay, so she made her healthy muffins, which I freaking love. Let me just show you the muffins. These have been shared many a time in videos. So we'll focus. The recipe for these, I've, I've shared these before. I freaking love these. There's also some sneaky carrot and zucchini in there. Focus. Oh. Smells like cinnamon, but the main ingredients are like dates, walnuts. There's like pepita seeds. It's so good. Oh. So good, I love them. So I had like almost a whole one yesterday, but not because they're quite big. And I ate a lot of her other slice, and this was after two serves of a big dinner. And then I couldn't go to sleep for a while. And then I had to get up really early. So anyway, I ranted about that enough. The new slice that she made, mm, this one is special. It looks really bad because it's like being in the fridge overnight. This is the one that I want to get her to make again so I can take a picture before it looks ugly and refrigerated. They're all ugly. Ooh. That's it from the side view. She used frozen cherries instead of frozen raspberries, which I am not here for. The recipe said frozen raspberries would have been so much better. But oh, these have cannelli beans in it, some type of bean in it. And she used rose water and like almond flour and like almonds and it tastes really like almondy with a subtle bit of rose and so good. My mom does heaps of healthy baking where she'll replace sugar with things like dates and like she adds a bit of veggies in it and like beans but you can't taste it at all. Heaps of nuts, she'll use like almond flour. Mm. The texture of this, the beans just did it. Mm. Right now, I'm going to have... Which do I want? Why does my mum do me like this? I'm going to have either a muffin, or maybe half and half again, or a... Mm. These muffins are so good. The texture. Mm, 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 mm. The other day at work, I weighed myself when I got there, and I was like really not going well with putting on weight. So this just inspires me to like eat more this like healthy but delicious like treat stuff obviously like i'm trying to like eat more throughout the day and not eat it like usually mm, a little bit of a chat here guys it was always like a fear of mine to like not save snacks or treats till after dinner and then i wouldn't eat enough throughout the day and then i would get to dinner and be so full after and then i feel like i would eat all of my energy in that nighttime period where it's better to obviously spread it throughout the day for that constant energy availability and now that i get home so late and start so early I'm trying to like not eat a big dinner so I can then fall asleep. So I'm trying to eat more throughout the day. Anyway, so I'm going to probably have this stuff now, even though I've never had this stuff as a snack for afternoon tea, because I'm always like, this is a, for me, my like after dinner snack type of thing. But I made that rule up in my head. I didn't even make that rule up in my head. My head made that rule up in my head. So I'm going to break that rule, have some of this as a snack now with the tea, then get changed and head off to training in about 20 minutes. So recipes will be linked below on my whole food gram instagram account for these mm, try it out so good so freaking good i rate them so hardcore delicious this is the muffin i've been eating look at that beautiful so good okay all right i love how this rose has become like the rose of the vlog like not really but i'm deciding it is because it makes me happy
it's perfect it's so beautiful every time we get a really nice rose in the garden my mom's like look what grandpa bought for us because we brought them all from my grandpa's garden and planted them in ours i topped up my rubois tea i just reused the same tea bag the birds and i'm just heating up bone out the teeth still here having another piece because it reminds me of my nan for some reason the taste of it like subtle rose rose water oh yeah the girls probably my favorite because wizard of oz vibes but also 90 year old woman vibes like old mate dorothy that lives down the road you know like gray curly hair vibes also what nickname is someone called dorothy like doe azura barbie fairy topia vibes wasn't one of my favorite characters i prefer elena or odette why aren't these on your list iconic characters rose is a classic like probs one of my faves also a random lady that does classes at my gym so that's who i think of but also rose is cute i think iris that's a part of your eye part of your eyeball although it does mean rainbow so it is quite pretty if you think of it like that so i do like that one now i think about it iris yeah, actually, it's growing on me. What would her nickname be, though? Riss? Rissol? Potato Rissol? Salmon Rissol? Willow is, like, really common these days. So you would be, like, mm, a bit of, like, a bougie common girl. But it is a cute name. It is pretty. Willow. Willow Smith. Okay, girl. Let me just review these things. Okay, first of all, Evelyn. Hate it. It just reminds me of, um... In Riverdale, this like evil character was just called Evelyn, pretty sure. Also, Evie, I've coached so many little girls called Evie that are just like, I don't know, random. So, I don't really know. Yeah, fucking Dylan O'Brien, that's who it reminds me of. Um, the name Logan, but then there's also the bad Logans, like Logan Paul. Logan. And then I also know a kid called Logan from training. I know so many kids with all of these names now. Yeah, so. Lucas, I actually really like Lucas. However, I know about five Lucases. Um, and yeah, we call Lucas Loki a lot, which is kind of cute, but I actually, I rate Lucas, it's cute. Also, Lucas was a cute little character in Home and Away back in 2006, when I was six, and actually watched it. Spencer, I can't because I know it's Spencer. Please, God, no, please, no. And then also, it reminds me of Spencer from Pretty Little Liars, the fucking worst character in Pretty Little Liars. Fuck you, Spencer. Um, please come up with another list but this was very interesting I liked it and I'm disappointed to say the least <laughs> if I had to give you like names which were okay I'm gonna say oh I didn't review Katrina mm, Katrina it's okay but why cat could be a cute nickname though what about cat as a full name like k-a-t that's cute boys names Lucas wins what the fuck is Gilbert? That loses. I'm going to give a winner and a loser to each category. And the girls' names... Oh, fuck. There's so many losers. How do I pick a loser? Let's just pick a winner. Winner for the girl names. Well, it's not Evelyn. It's not Cal fucking Calypso. Okay. It's not Evelyn. It's not fucking Calypso because that's a fucking bird in a pirate TV show, I'm pretty sure. Not Scarlet. Not Dorothy. Maybe Azura because Barbie vibes. Maybe Katrina. Nah, that's so basic. No. Maybe Rose. I think we know Iris. Yep. Iris is the winner for the girls. The loser, yeah, we won't go there. And then the boys I've said, so. Cool, interesting, love it. I should send you, I should send you the list of the names I made, like a future baby names list and get your, get you to review them. <laughs> Me and my twinny, I love how we, like, this is how we communicate now that she doesn't live in this country. She's on lockdown in some random country. Training time, let's get it. Before I forget, it was so much fun in my classes today because I added heaps of new like workout remixes to the PT playlist I use in classes because I play it through a speaker. And it was just really fun having all these like fancy new like bops like going off to like wonder what was coming next. So we love that. Wednesday 
session done. It is 7.30 exactly. I was hoping to leave way earlier, but then my coach was talking to me for a while after our jog, so I'm gonna get home at eight. Anyway, home time. Weather's been really weird. Like the sun came out and it was like really nice this session. Now it's like really peaceful, peaceful evening. Peaceful evening. shoes off I am home remember how I said my back was really sore <laughs> broken vibes um ow. I'm not bothered to wash my hair but Wednesdays is the only weekday that I I wash my hair because it's the only weekday where I don't wake up very early the next morning so as I was saying earlier today Thursdays I have a class at 8 a.m. starting next week but this week is my only sleeping day for the next foreseeable future so I will probably get up at like about eight nine ish so I can wash my hair tonight and go to bed a little later let it dry um yeah so tomorrow all I have is work in the afternoon for like five or so hours and then I also coach in the middle of the day for like school sport and then so I have the morning free to like honestly do lots of work at home but it's still like sleeping vibes but right now it's washing hair vibes which I'm not bothered was that focused on me at all? Probably not. Let's try and get the same position as... Okay, ready? I'm gonna go and have some dinner now and have some chill time. Watch a little bit of Lost. I'll continue the episode that I watched like 15 minutes of yesterday. So I think my mum was just telling me she baked a whole heap of veggies and I had salmon for dinner. So she baked like Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, sweet potato, and that's all in the oven. And I can help myself to that. And then um, she just like left out a piece of salmon for me to pan fry for myself. So let's go do this right now. Yeah, sweet potato, there's zucchini, asparagus, pumpkin cauliflower, brussels sprouts, and a pan fried piece of salmon with some olive oil and broccoli. Yeah, the girls. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I just want to add, just for reference, because I get damn this a lot, I have more than this for dinner. I know it's a big dinner, but it is very low calorie because of all the veg. When I have room on my plate, I will get more sweet potato, more pumpkin, and I will have a snack after dinner, probably one of mum's muffins, especially because I don't have a super early start tomorrow, so I can have longer time to chill. But right now, I'm gonna go enjoy this and relax and watch some Lost while I do that. I'm also gonna dry my fish in some lime, which was a lime juiced from our tree and frozen into ice cubes and then microwaved by myself. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Beautiful yellow flower. It is literally almost nine o'clock. Okay, it's literally almost nine o'clock and I still haven't, I still haven't started my dinner, so I'm gonna get into it now. I just got really carried away answering. My dinner's literally, literally cold because I was waiting that long, but it still tastes good. I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that I talk so goddamn much. Hopefully this vlog isn't five hours long. I'm so sorry that my vlogs are that long. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to give my at Whole Food Gram Instagram account a follow for some more healthy recipes and to get those really good recipes and also my main instagram it's at imogen.russell and yeah i hope to see you guys in the next video bye